I'm Jake Bruton, and today on The Build Show, we're going to talk about a wood front door and where to use them and where not to use them. Let's do it now. Okay, so we are back at our Hilltop Arrow project, and if you can't tell, I'm shaded from here up. And that's going to be the entire point of this video. Uh, if we are looking at a front door, an exterior door, whatever it is, uh, our first concern is water. So we can't just put wood outside and not be concerned with water. In this instance, we have this gorgeous Douglas fir vertical grain door from Simpson. Uh, the clients picked some really cool uh, modern style m -Tech hardware. We had our uh, local shop build a frame for it and, and put it in a frame for us. We have the standard aluminum pan. We have uh, white pine jams that are painted, primed and painted. And I installed this door with one of my project managers. This is a very well installed door. We're not really concerned about this door ever leaking because we did such a good install. However, that's not the takeaway here. The takeaway here is this is, uh, protected. We have a eight foot overhang on this porch where this door is never going to get wet. My install probably could have been garbage and this thing would never leak. We're protecting the wood by a big overhang. So the point of this conversation is what is our exposure? What is our risk? That expands to just about everything. It expands beyond just a, a pretty wood door. It expands to, okay, can I build a house without overhangs? Yes, you can. People do it all the time. People also build them all the time where they're going to have leaks and water issues and things like that. So your risk has to uh, align with your practices. So you can't do a poor job of installing windows or a poor job of installing doors if there's no overhang and there's great risk. Same goes for, you know, marine climate where you're right up against the ocean front. You have to understand what your level of risk is so that you can understand what's appropriate and what's not. If this door had no overhang, I probably would have had to choose something that wasn't quite as pretty as this door. So we make those decisions based on the environment that we're building in, the team that we're going to have involved, the availability of products and risk. And that's where I think most building failures happen is people don't ask what the risk is. And so that would be our takeaway today. I'm encouraging you to think about what is your risk in this environment? What is your risk in this assembly? And if you do that, I think very quickly you'll change the way you're doing things or you'll be super proud and pat yourself on the back one or the other. I'm Jake Bruton on The Build Show. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to follow the Unbuild It podcast on Instagram. That's a podcast I host with Steve Basic and Peter Yost. Steve's also one of the other contributors on Build Show Network. There are a whole bunch of videos every single week that are great content, very educational. I learn stuff from these videos. They're really high level, and you should subscribe to the newsletter so you don't miss any of them. Thanks for watching. <laughs>